What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my Browns Texans Week 16 recap. And boy, oh boy. How about that, huh? Yeah. Browns went out to Houston, Texas, and they absolutely dominated the Texans today, beating Houston by a final score of 36 to 22. And by the way, we witnessed history as Amari Cooper went out there and broke Josh Gordon's single game receiving yards record, which has stood for a very long time. I believe it was, what, 2013, I believe it was. Yeah, how about that, right? 165 yards for Amari Cooper to go along with two tutties, because of course, right? And Joe Flacco. Dude was absolutely cooking out there today. 27 of 42, 368 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. And the thing is, I'm not going to get mad at those interceptions because one was an arm punt and the other one was at the end of the half. Other than that, he was fantastic. Again, right? DTR even came in for a little bit. One for two, six yards. whoop to do Whatever. He also came in uh, when the game was pretty much a wrap. And, uh, yeah. Backup defense that the Texans come back a little bit. Make things interesting. Starters have to go back out there to clean it up. You need to see that, especially with a short week. But it is what it is. So, on the ground... 30 carries total, 54 yards, two touchdowns, one from Jerome Ford, the other from Kareem Hunt. Good stuff. Not much, you know, individually to talk about. Jerome Ford, 15 carries, 25 yards. Ooh, classic stuff. Uh, through the air, of course, Amari, 11 receptions, 265 yards, two tutties. David Njoku, six receptions, 44 yards and a touchdown. Elijah Moore, Jordan Aiken, Cedric Tillman all had two catches. Harrison Bryant, David Bell had a catch a piece. Kareem Hunt even got a little bit involved too. Not much else to talk about there. And then uh, defensively, three sacks. Two from Zadarius Smith and one from Alex Wright. And Miles Garrett continues to be silent in that department because that's usually how things go this time of year for him. He always seems to just kind of fade away as the season goes on. But on the good side... Zadarius so Smith is out here feasting. He also had four QB hits, too. But, uh, yeah, uh, love to see that from Zadarius. Of course, he did get a little banged up after the starters had to come back in. But, yeah, did pretty good, you know, facing Case Keenum and Davis Mills. Uh, Case Keenum went 11 of 17 for 62 yards and two interceptions. Got sacked three times, like I said. Davis Mills went 15 of 32 for 149 yards and two touchdowns. That pretty much all came against backups. Once the starters came back in, they did nothing. Yeah. It's kind of like the Thanos meme. You know, it's like the fine. I'll do it myself. Because the backups couldn't do a damn thing out there. Classic, right? But yeah, I mean, you know, Browns are now 10 and 5, 3 and 4 on the road. And um, now they can pretty much clinch a playoff spot. On Thursday at home against the Jets. We had a chance to do it this week, but the Chargers just had to charge her, right? But, um, so, uh, Jags fans, you're welcome, but you gotta take care of your own business too, because, uh, yeah, I just checked the scoreboard. Not looking so good against Baker now, huh? Ew, 10 nothing bucks. Wow. Ouch. Gotta take care of your own business too. It's just the way it is. So, uh, we're gonna look at the post game observations. Number one. Joe Flacco to Amari Cooper is lethal. It's been lethal, and it will be lethal. Uh, yeah, that was some vintage Joe Flacco stuff today. Love to see it. Number two, we brought the defense with us on the road for once. Good to see they didn't forget it this time. Good stuff. Granted, it was against Case Keenum, but still, don't doubt Case, right? Or you're going to catch a case. <laughs> and then, uh, finally, let's pray for D-Hop's hamstring. Of course, he uh, hurt his hamstring on his plant foot, I believe it is. His plant leg. Not his kicking leg. The other leg. The leg that he uses to generate the power. And, uh, yeah, he hurt it while chasing down Damian Pierce on the kick return. Because, of course, the freaking kickoff coverage couldn't freaking tackle him. Good job. 
yeah, overall, not a very fun day for Bubba Ventron's unit, right? Kicker gets hurt. Punter's banged up. You couldn't freaking recover an onside kick. Like, what are we doing here? Not a good day at all for uh, Bubba's unit, but I'm sure they're going to uh, definitely hear it in the film review. That's going to be fun. Now, uh, game MVP, I'm going to go with, an, with another co-MVP, Joe Flacco and Amari Cooper. Because, of course, right? So, good stuff. And uh, let's get on the Thursday. Let's take care of business and let's clinch a freaking playoff spot. All right? So, with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Have a safe and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. You know, Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. You know, whatever you celebrate nowadays. And, um, yeah, let's go beat the crap out of the Jets now, okay? Yeah, let's see Joe Flacco cook at home again. That'd be fun. So, uh, yeah, 10 and 5. Sounds amazing, right? I loved what I just watched. And uh, the game went back pretty quick, too. Good stuff. So, yeah, 10 and 5. Let's go to 11 and 5. Yeah, let's do that. So, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. As always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Become a member for exclusive perks like cool emotes and stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another holiday edition. Victory Monday. Yeah. Yeah, holiday edition. Christmas Eve. W leads to a Christmas Day Victory Monday. Yeah. Oh, man. That's going to be fun. We appreciate the present, Browns. You know, big dub. Good stuff. Let's keep it going. See you guys tomorrow. Let's go, Browns. I'm Crazy Dog, and I'm out. Bye-bye.